Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 15 box Be Like Mike baseball mixer. And you're like, a baseball mixer? Yeah, and then you're like, yeah, Michael Jordan did play baseball for a little bit. That's the giveaway right here. 1991 Upper Deck Baseball Michael Jordan card PSA 10 is the big giveaway we'll do at the end of the break. No vet common ship. Yeah, close to $2,000 value, maybe more as the years go on. Um, and the break itself is pretty strong too. So thanks everyone for getting into the action. It's a random team break. That's what RT means. Thanks to everybody who got into the action here. Appreciate it. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a one three times for each list. Three easy times. One, two, three strikes, you're out. One, two, and three. We got Brian down to Jonathan. And three, two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Royals down to A's. Easy. Easy. All right, so Brian with the Royals, Steve Birch with the Phillies, Stephen K with the Brew Crew, Matt with the Angels, Martin with the Yankees, Kim, you have my Dodgers. Calvin with the White Sox, Kyle with the Mets, Mac with the O's, Garrett with the Mariners, TJ with the Tigers, Matthew with the Twins, Jarrell with the Red Sox, Nick with the Blue Jays, Kevin with the Rangers, Edward, last spot mojo, Padres, Brian with the Strohs, John with the Rockies, Harrison with the Pirates, Oliver Smith with the Nats, Gary with the Braves, William with the Giants, Michael with the Marlins, Oliver with the Indians, Levi with the Rays, Jonathan with the Cardinals, Harrison with the Diamondbacks, Quinton with the Cubs, Chris with the Reds, Jonathan with the Oakland A's. So let's get all this on one screen right here. All right, and there you have it. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any uh, trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, um, no deals were done, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. There you go. 15 box Be Like Mike baseball mixer. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. There's the Michael Jordan right there, which we're going to give away to someone in the break. So if you got drawn a team that you don't like, that you hate, or if you're throughout the course of the break, if you're having a bad break, you know, don't worry. Giving away this Michael Jordan. So that, that, that would be a big hit in it of itself. All right, so let's, we got it. Let's do this first, because I think we're going to have to write down the players and the teams they go to. So let's just get this out of the way first. You can see all the boxes on the top screen right there. There's Luis Rodriguez. Is that a Dodger? Looks like it. You need some of that Kip luck. Some of that Kip Kip hooray. Luis Rodriguez, I think, is a Dodger. He is. Number 10 prospect for the Dodgers. Nice. 21 years old. Signed with, been with the Dodgers since he was 16. So that goes to Kim and my Dodgers. We got Luis Medina. Twelve out of twenty-five. 
Luis Medina is with a high A, Florida State League, New York Yankees. So that'll be for Martin with the Yankees. We got Yiddy Cap. I think it's a Marlin. Yes, it is a Miami Marlin. That will go to Michael S. Uh, Yolbert Sanchez. Seventeen out of thirty-five. Gilbert Sanchez is a Chicago White Sox. That's going to be for Calvin. We got a state pride card here. Jordan Walker. He sounds like a Cardinal. <laughs> Ryan, I appreciate the help, but you're lagging too far behind. To actually help, but I appreciate it, though. Uh, Jordan Walker, baseball player, is 21st overall by the Cardinals. Nice. That is for Jonathan. Jonathan Arnaldi with that one gets the state pride card. And we've got, I know where this guy goes, Robert Hassel, San Diego Padres. And that will be for Edward. Nice. <laughs> Same with you, Oliver. Unfortunately, you're lagging too far behind to help. I think there's enough of a delay where I'll, I'll usually be able to find it before someone says it. All right, draft picks. These might actually have their big club cities on here, unless it's a college card. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Great start, Jonathan. All right. And Primo's got two in the triple case. The triple case filler, I'm assuming. And the straight up spot has sold out already. So it looks like that is going to happen tonight after this long mixer. So who bought, us, who bought that spot straight up? Michael, I think. Nice. All right, so this break, this break is going to take a little while, but we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that three case break afterwards, which is probably going to be another hour long break. All right, immaculate's at least thirty minutes. NT, NT, and immaculate twenty minutes, but each each of them probably twenty minutes each. Well, I don't think it's going to feel that long though. We got a redemption right out of the gate, Cameron Meisner. Blanking on where Cameron Meisner goes. Cameron Meisner is a Marlin. And that'll go to Michael. <laughs> Ryan, you don't have to do that anymore. I appreciate the help, but the delay is just too much. It's, it's just clogging up the chat. Ooh, and a plate. We got Sammy Siani, plate and autograph. Wow. Do 
think uh, he's I think he's a pirate. Yeah, Samuel James Siani is a bucko. That's going to go to Harrison, who bought a spot straight up. Gets a one of one out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. We got Ryan Jensen here, 36 out of 99. I know where he goes. He's a cub. How do I remember? I've got a buddy whose name is Ryan Jensen. Um, and he's from Chicago. But he's a White Sox fan. That'll go to the Cubs, though. Quinton with that one. And we've got shortstop Gunnar Henderson, 25 out of 99, prospect ticket autograph. He sounds like a Marlin. He is... He is an Oriole. Close. Close. I got, I got the coast. Got the coast correct. Baltimore. That, that'll be for Mac and the O's. Mac McCarthy. We got Noel V. Marte. 90, uh, 67 out of 99. He's a pirate too. I'm not sure, Richard. I thought that hybrid would fly off the shelves. No, he's a Mariner. But yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do that. Uh, we'll have to work on that tomorrow. And there, there's Cameron again to 99. There's Riley Green, 10 out of 23, autograph. Cracked ice auto, and I think that is a tiger. If I'm not mistaken, is that for TJ? It is, TJ, there you go. TJ was bummed about the tigers, but I forgot, forgot about Riley Green as a up and coming prospect, and it's cracked ice. There you go. Nice. All right. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Now let's work through some of these retail packs here. 2017 Donruss Optic Baseball. Yeah, there you go. He just uh, he got the, still has a chance of the Jordan too. All right. So we're going to get all this, this sort of heavier base stuff out of the way first. Like the, these two retail boxes, then those boxes right there. So we've got a little ways to go, but then we'll kind of start getting towards the uh, towards the bigger end, the higher end stuff in the back. Oh no, Jeez, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, Serena's already down three one in the second set.
going to be kind of a nightmare because I think all the cards are sort of stuck together here. So obviously all those rated rookie cards will ship. You know, inserts like this will ship to 99 to the Angels. These are the vet commons that will not be shipping. There's a Tyler Glass now hollow that will ship. These purples are not numbered, nor, nor are these, but they will ship as well. So will these, because they're parallels. There's Trey Mancini for the Orioles. Tyler Glass now hollow for the Pirates. That'll be for Harrison. And these cards aren't that old. This is only from 2017. It's kind of the material that they that they use here. Maybe these weren't stored. This box wasn't stored properly. Where did we get this from? Mike Trout again and Ian Happ. What's the halves? Ian Happ. Quentin with the Cubs. Makes the backs a little bit weird too. Rado Nunez, Gary Sanchez, Addison Russell. Orlando Arcia, Ryan Healy. Oh, Josh Bell was a rookie in this. There's a Josh for the Pirates. Harrison, although now a national. Jorge Alfaro. Joey Votto, that's Joey Votto's not numbered. There we go. That's what we're looking for in here. Aaron Judge, all rise. Rated rookie card going to Martin and the Yankees. Martin won that spot in a uh, in a filler break. Nice. Dansby Swanson, rated rookie. Purple parallel, which are not numbered. Gary Braves. Haniger, TJ asking Kip if Jacoby Jones is going to be big this year. Dude's 28, he's saying. It's now or never. Yo, Mankata has a new video slash song, Oliver is saying. Yo, Mankata, a bit of a, is he a, a singer? There's David Dahl, Hollow. Yeah, 
Nice Cody Bellinger. Rated rookie for the Dodgers. That's going to go to Kim. What kind of uh, what kind of music? What kind of music is it? No, yeah, these this rookie class here is isn't too shabby at all. Got some solid players. You know, some Teoscar Hernandez's Bregman rated rookie for the Astros, Brian Frank. Tropical reggaeton sort of sort of style, but it's but it's good. Yo Mancata may have a future. Could be life after baseball for for Mancata. You think he plays his own music in the locker room? Or you think the guys are like, you think the guys are like, eh? We don't want to hear that. Is it sold out, Peter? If it is, yes. Take a look at the schedule. See what it says. Oh, looks like it is. Nice. Um, what am I going to... Let's copy and paste this. I hope that'll be a frequently asked question. And no one likes to look at the schedule anyway. Now, let's go here. 2019 Donner's Optic Baseball. Um, all cards do not ship in this, John. It clearly states in the description that there's no veteran commons that go. Yeah, please check your item descriptions, ladies and gents. If it doesn't say anything, then all cards do ship. But we'll, we usually, we always specify one way or the other inside. Oh, this, this too? Whatever optic material they were using well, those couple years. Pete Alonso rated rookie. There he is. These are the uh, yellow border parallels, which of course all all of that will ship because they're inserts. Jeremy, what's going on? How are you? 
Ooh, you finally finished opening your 15 case of 1991 Upper Deck Football. No name with our Montana? Come on, after 15 cases? Here's Pete Alonzo for Kyle and the Mets. We'll do a recap at the end, too. If I don't remember to do a recap, it's probably in a separate video. I've been known to forget these sorts of things. Because I'm forgetful. Short-term memory loss. This really jams me up here. We don't have time for this, Donner Softic. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Doesn't help with the surface of these cards either, I would imagine. Yeah, all these yellows kind of look like golds, don't they? And you're like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Now there's Vlad Guerrero Jr., Blue Jays, Nick Stover. Sorry guys, I know this is terrible, but no way around it. Roy's twins fans are there we had twins fans in the chat they're, they're central time they might still be awake twins fans tell me about Royce Lewis I feel like this guy's what was uh, pretty sure was a number one overall pick right but this is this is 2017 2019 maybe? no this is 2019 I feel like we should have started to see see him in See him in, in the action? I guess it's only, I think he was a 2017 number one overall pick or something. I thought we would have started to see him by now. I feel like we haven't heard things. Yeah, yeah Moniac's another one of those guys that I thought, that everyone thought was going to be a big deal, but it looks like Moniac is not quite. Oh, yeah, Jeff McNeil, too. I see. Could win a batting title. There's Wander Franco, rated prospect for the Rays. That'll be for Levi and a hollow Mike Trout. They call him hollow in Donner Softing and then silver in, in the Select and Prism, I think. All right, so uh, Oliver's saying. Oliver saying uh, it should be Royce Lewis and Alex Kirloff's time in, in Minnesota. So we'll, we'll see what they can do. Swanton's doing okay. I think not, not as big as I think maybe people had hoped he would be for a number one overall pick. But he's doing all right in Atlanta. Nice. There's the rookies, Tatis Jr. That'll be for the Padres. That'll be for Edward for San Diego. We're already, oh, we're already 30 minutes into this break. Got time for this. We got, we got bigger fish to fry. Not 
last bit. I think the other ones should not have this issue so we can be we can probably breeze through these pretty quickly. Do we guys sell the common goods online? No, only in the shop for now. Got Joey Gallo Velocity here for the Rangers. That'll be for Kevin. 26 out of 35. Wow, Osaka up 5-4. Is she going to win in straight sets? Because she's going to serve for the match, yeah. I thought this would go at least good would go the three sets. All right, there's the Nico Horner for the Cubs. Quentin with that one, we'll see a lot of a lot of him in the uh, in the summer. All right, so yeah, let's just let's just roll through these. So what year is this? This is 2020 archives baseball. Oh, nice. Wow, this is one of the cleanest posters I've seen. Usually, like, because they rattle around the box, the corners get banged up and everything, but that's not bad. Uh, I don't know what it is, actually, what the, what the price is. But I think we put them in, like, 500-count boxes. And maybe sell 500 count boxes for like five bucks, I think. And then we put that money towards uh, whatever charity we're doing this week or this month or this year. I think as I think a recent one was, uh, was Make a Wish. Sock is cruising. It's 30 love now. The 400 count box is for $5. Shin saying. There you go. This is it. This is match point. Forced error into the net. Serena's out in the semifinal. Osaka wins straights at 6 3 6 4. In, it was shorter than this mixer. <laughs> wow. Well, congrats. Yeah, Osaka is the future. Yeah. Come by Hollywood, check it out. The store is back open, following all the necessary protocols, blah, 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 blah. I know, we need to get Serena on that TV 12, Kip. Whatever, whatever like unicorn blood that Tom Brady is drinking to stay young forever. These are all facsimile autographs, obviously. Mm 
I mean, Serena probably plays the rest of this year, right? At, I at think B- so, right? She has to do. She has. She wants to do she like to Wim- French everything. Open, Wimbledon, U.S. Yeah. Open, do all I, the. I know she wants to win because they even brought it up. She hasn't won yet as a mom. So I do know as, yeah. Bugging her, like, you know. Probably U.S. Open. But it's just hard. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, now. yeah, because like, look at, look at Osaka and how well she's doing. I want Serena to win the U.S. Open though. That that would be awesome. All right, we got a 22 out of 25, Keston Hero with a facsimile autograph. Stephen K with the Brewers. And that's an actual autograph, Rich Gedman. Ever remember old Rich Gedman? Yeah, Tom Brady, yeah, definitely has a time machine or access to the multiverse or in some sort of interstellar like Tesseract or has a flux capacitor or has a portrait of him that's growing older in an attic, like in the portrait of Dorian Gray. You know, something. Drinking unicorn blood. Has he found in Tampa? I guess Tampa Bay is where the uh, is where the fountain of youth is that Ponce de Leon was looking for. Remember that dude, Rowdy Tellez. So maybe maybe uh, I don't know how far Ponce de Leon got through Florida. There's Todd Worrell. I remember Todd Worrell. Maybe Tom Brady found the fountain of youth, and it's in Tampa Bay. Todd Worrell, I think uh, he was a. He was pretty good, no? Or was he more of a close? I thought he was more of a closer. Yeah, he's. They don't put saves on here, which kind of sucks. <laughs> For a closer. They didn't put closer stats on there, Oliver. No saves. Wait, there was a South Park where he holds on to all of his poops and people... Tom Brady? All right, let's roll through 2020 Series 1. We're looking for one autograph or relic card per hobby box. This is Hobby Edition. Here's the Hobby Box exclusive silver pack. Yeah, I, I remember Warrell being on the Dodgers for a little bit. Speaking of closers, Oliver, here's some, you might know this trivia, a little Dodgers trivia, or I guess everyone can answer to if they know. Don't look it up. Um, I just had to confirm it. So Kenley Jansen leads, uh, leads the Dodgers in career saves they, with 312 saves. Nice. Good job, Kenley Jansen. Who has the second most? It doesn't say on this Wikipedia page, but I, I heard on the radio the other day. It's like a trivia question on this. On radio, and I and I knew it. I knew it because we traded away. Yep, it was Jeff Shaw. The Dodgers traded away. Uh, no, not not Eric Gagne. He had like two. He had a little help, but he had two really dominant seasons. <laughs> Save season. I think he has like a great 
consecutive save uh, record that was assisted by uh, some performance enhancements. But nevertheless, in terms of career saves, yeah, it was old uh, Reds closer Jeff Shaw, who was pretty dominant in his time. And I think the Dodgers were kind of... They thought they were maybe just a closer away from, from maybe winning it all or something like that. So they made this deal for Jeff Shaw. To, uh, here's another trivia question. Who did the Dodgers trade to Cincinnati to get Jeff Shaw back in the day? I think I would have rather kept the other guy, the guy the Dodgers traded. I think there are maybe multiple players, but the, there's like one key player that I'm thinking of. Let's keep breezing through these. Oh, oh the Kershaw. Why was that flipped around? Is that a some sort of variation? I don't know, but that'll go to the. Go to the Dodgers, of course. Um, Kim has my Dodgers. No, not Reggie Sanders. The Dodgers had Paul Canerco. Remember him? Of course you remember him. He's a good player. I think he ended up banging out like 300 homers in his career. Maybe more around there? There might have been another player or two involved. But yeah, it was uh, it was Paul Canerco was was the was one of the key pieces in that deal. I think that the Dodgers, I guess, didn't think that he would. I, that just he just he just wouldn't come around. But but he ended up playing really well for for the Reds. And really well for the White Sox after that. There's a silver foil targ screwball for TJ and the Tigers. There's a Joe Adele. We'll save one of those too. But that trade wasn't as bad as the... Uh, as the Dodgers trading away Pedro Martinez. There's Casey Mize for TJ and the Tigers, rookie card. Joe Adele for the Angels, Brian Frank. Nope, check that. Sorry, you guys' are, names are right next to you. Matt Medlin. So with that being said, folks, tell me your favorite baseball team. Tell me your favorite baseball team and the worst trade your, uh, your organization made. In the last, like, I don't know. In the last, like... 30 years, 30, 40 years. It can't be like, I'm a Red Sox fan. In your lifetime, basically. In your in your memory. It can't be like, ah, oh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> I'm a Red Sox fan, Babe Ruth. Unless you were alive then, which I would be pretty impressed if you were alive enough to remember the, the, the Babe Ruth uh, trade. But it has to be in your lifetime that you remember. Joey Bart for the Giants, William. Hollywood Cubbies is his team. So what, what was the worst trade that you believe your team ever made in your lifetime? I didn't like the Piazza trade hurt too. The Piazza trade I didn't like either. Steve Birch in the house. He's saying uh, he Red Sox fan Carlton Fisk, right? He went to the other Sox team for... Spent another decade there. And there's out of 2021, we've got the Nationals. Cubs trading away John Garland. Was that to the White Sox? So.
So, oh, and, and maybe tell me who, uh, who they, who they got back, which, which made it even worse. Like who did, who did the Red Sox get back for Fisk? What did the Cubs get for Garland? Yeah. Who did, who, Phillies trading Kurt Schilling. Who did, who did, like, what, who did the Phillies get back? Mount Castle for the O's for Mac McCarthy. Kiebert Ruiz for the Dodgers. Ryan's a Pirates fan. He's saying there's way too many trades. Josh Fields for Jordan Alvarez. Yeah, that... Thankfully, these days, the Dodgers have, like, the luxury to, uh, to miss on trades like that. Yeah, can you imagine Jordan in that Dodgers outfield? There's Aaron Nola to 199. Major League Material. Going to the Phillies. That'll be for Steve Birch. All right. The exclusive silver pack. Buster Posey, Jacob deGrom, Nolan Arenado, and a Cabrian Hayes rookie. Brian Hayes, believe it or not, doesn't have base rookies in this yet. He might be a Series 2 or an update guy, but he does have the the uh, Mojo Refractor insert with him as a rookie. So the White Sox helped the Southsiders. Garland went away for some guys who never made it to the majors. Brutal. That's always the worst. Dodgers also traded away uh, in that Machado deal where they only had Machado for half a season. And he didn't do that well. <laughs> they traded away Yadier Alvarez, so it remains to be seen. I think Yadier Alvarez is his name. Yadier? Something like that? Alvarez? Is it another Alvarez or something like that? No. Usniel Diaz, maybe? I think it's I think it's a Diaz. Usniel Diaz, I think, went the other way. So I think he's supposed to be back in action coming up in the next year or two. We're getting some more consistent playing time in a year or two. So It was Diaz, right, TJ Singh? So, we'll see. Chris Watson saying, White Sox acquired George Bell from the Cubs for Sammy Sosa and Ken Patterson. Use Neil Diaz. Was Alvarez a troublemaker, TJ? Who, who, whose bags? Jordan Alvarez's or or Yusniel Diaz's? Is. Might be a variation here. Oh, I think these were just accidentally flipped around. Kind of weird not seeing him in that. Diaz, when we sent him to the O's, you carried carried his bags out to... Yeah, we'll see how that trade works out, TJ. The Diaz deal for half a season of of Machado. There's Junior Fernandez, rookie auto out of Stadium Club Chrome. It's a sharp looking set going to Jonathan Arnaldi and the Cardinals. 26 out of 50. There's Renfro to 25. Wait, was there another card that looked like that? That was 25? So 
So that goes to Tampa Bay, Levi. No, I guess not. All right, then we'll have to see if uh, Alex Verdugo, how Alex Verdugo plays out in uh, in Boston. And uh, Jeter Downs, too. Kind of, I'm going to miss, uh, I'm going to miss Kike Hernandez. Oh, that's a good shot of Walker Buehler. It's pretty, it goes this way. It's pretty cool. Got a some uh, little wave parallel there. That's pretty sharp. And so that's the re the regular one. Get out of here, bud. Um, I feel like there's a reason why this series two is importante. Tatis. Tatis Jr. rookie cards are going to be here. So, San Diego, Edward to Palveta. Now, now's the time to, to, to perk up a little bit. Scoot close, scoot your seat closer to the monitor. Let's see if we can spot some Tatis Juniors here. Yeah, John's going to miss uh, Francisco Lindor and Carrasco. So Carolina Muchova from the Czech Republic and Jennifer Brady is playing in the other semifinal. Jennifer Brady... Is she the girl that's the owner or the Bills owner's daughter? Is that the that figure she's she's about to play? Pretty sure. How scary is that uh, that Mets team going to be? If you're a NL East fan, are you are you nervous? If you're an NL fan, are you nervous? Kind of want to don't kind of want to not see that pitching rotation in the playoffs. Like, who wants to see that? There's Ryan Harold. LFGM. Yeah, you showed up right on time for Mets talk. Let's, let's effing go Mets, says Ryan Harold. He's fired up. Is Cinder, when, when's Syndergaard? Is Syndergaard, is Syndergaard going to be healthy? Harrison saying, not as nervous as the Bozos that have them win 90. I don't think they're going to win. 96 games is a lot. But I think they're going to be, if it all clicks, it's going to be pretty good. Syndergaard's already, yeah. So I don't want to see that rotation in the playoffs. Do you? DeGrom, Syndergaard. Carrasco, Stroman, and then whoever else. You know, at the back of that rotation, where you can put one of those guys in the bullpen. I mean, don't want to see that. All right, Tatis is the main guy we're looking for here. Tatis Jr. Mm -hmm. 
Ian Happ, there's Syndergaard. Oh, speaking of Diaz, Corey's saying the L's outfield is clogged with young guys who will most likely say long-term Diaz might end up finding his way out of Baltimore. Oh, I'll have to track him. I'm just curious to see what we got for half a season of Machado. There you go. There's Ryan uh, Brazier to 2019. Tanner Renfro. We got a black border Jake Marisnik to 67. Pete Alonzo rookie card. There's the Orioles. Speaking of the O's, nice. Pete Alonzo, Metropolitans. Kyle, Jack. Oh, and we got Ricky Henderson, piece of his lumber. Out of 150. Piece of his lumber going to, that's A's edition for Jonathan. There's Alex Cobb to 2019. I, 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 I am the greatest, greatest, greatest of all time. time. Sorry, Simon. Yeah, as it says in the chat and, and on the schedule, we are booked up for the night. No, you are not Jonathan Liang. You are, you are Jonathan Arnalbi. <laughs> Jonathan Liang has the, uh, has the A's. All right, no to Tease. Jankowski. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be snowed in, Ryan? Well, hey, I'll, I'll be here to provide some mild entertainment for you. Nate Jones for the White Sox. Yeah, Christian, yeah, we're going to do that big NBA break after this. It should be another long break. Probably be over an hour, but it's not going to feel as long as, as this baseball mixer here. But we're getting close to the, the faster stuff in baseball, so... We're almost there. Probably another 30 or so minutes to go. No to T. Stewart. I'm glad we got that Alonzo. And obviously all these rookie cards are going to ship. If you spotted some other rookies that I missed. Only Vet Commons don't ship. But it looks like... I don't want to miss it. Wilson Ramos. Otani. Austin Meadows to 2019. 
Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, no Tatis Jr. Sorry, San Diego, but New York Mets got the Pete Alonso, which was pretty nice. And there was the Ricky Henderson relic as well. All right, let's get into some Chronicles. <laughs> Hollywood, don't do that. I've, 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 been telling, I've been telling everybody that the, the weather has been terrible. Oh, the weather in California, yeah. It's just as awful as everyone else. We feel your pain. Awful. Gross. It was just terrible. I mean, don't even look up the weather. It's just that bad. There's Luis Robert. Classics rookie card for the White Sox. Calvin. Wow. Luis Robert's nickname? La Pantera. The Panther. That's a cool nickname. Austin Riley. Origins. I almost missed that. There you go. Silver autograph right there. numbered as well 14 out of 25 nice one for Gary and the Braves and here's a limited edition of Luis Robert for Calvin and the White Sox Bo Bichette rookie Albert Pujols, 9 out of 49, piece of his jersey. Wish it would make Spectra baseball. Get on it, Panini. <laughs> yeah, Brian Peebles does have all the Tatises. By the way, we're, we're back open again, Brian, if you ever wanted to pop by for a bit. Jordan Alvarez. Rafael Devers, Mosaic to 49. Make Mosaic baseball too, Panini. Bo Bichette, Blue Jays, Nick Stober. Ryan, so Ryan Harold, what what's what's your story? Is uh is that move back to LA gonna happen? <laughs> Bellinger to ninety nine, there's Dan Vogelbach, Jordan Alvarez, Mookie Betts. Jordan to 199 for Houston. That'll be for Brian Frank. Why would you want to move to Florida, Ryan? Jaspies isn't located in Florida. We don't have humidity here either. <laughs> oh, okay. So interview went well. Still working out particular. 2022. All right, good. That'll be great. We'll be around. There's Sheldon Yusey. For the A's, Jonathan L. with that one. Rookie Gavin Lux. We've got an Aristides Aquino and a Matt Davidson. 9 out of 25 for the Red Legs. Chris Parent. Ooh, nice. There's the 75. Christian Ellis. Brian Peebles saying, uh, going to stop by a buddy near Knott's, grab a bunch of cards he wants to get rid of, and popping by the shop. Nice. We're not open on Sundays, just FYI. And I'm not here on Sundays. Playa del Rey. That's pretty close. Pretty close to us. Uh, 
Just go, just go right down, right down PCA. That's right, Sheldon UC is a new Dodger. Like kind of like a, a trade of some 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 prospects here and there. I mean, Ryan, if you move to Hermosa Beach, you'd, you'd be even closer to Jaspies. Oh, it's in Beverly. Okay, so the job's in Beverly Hills, but it doesn't put you as far from me. But you, yeah, you, 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 you've lived in LA, so you know your, you know your way around here. Many, many ways to, to ninja around LA. You ever watch the uh, SNL sketch Californians? That's uh, actually, it's actually true. That does happen. Twenty-five out of ninety-nine. Donnie Walton, rookie materials jersey for Seattle. That will be for Garrett Knowles, Phil Negro. Nice Phil Negro. Iconic ink. Three out of ten for the Braves. Gary Martin. Uh, yeah, we get earthquakes every day. Ooh, nice Mauricio Dubon for my rivals, the Giants. Out of 125, I like these the, these pieces of the baseball that they came up with. William Clayton has the Giants. For most of the Beverly Hills, yeah, probably about three or four hours. But the like I said, it's like the like the Californian sketch on SNL. There's 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 ways you can ninja around there. But. Even though we don't have earthquakes, we also don't have snow. Adam, what's up? Bases loaded. Oh, are you, you're Gary? Bases loaded? You're welcome. It's Phil Necro autograph. It's pretty cool. Team Tandems, Bryant and Rizzo. And there's new Dodger Sheldon Nusi, eighteen out of one hundred and forty. What was that deal, Oliver? I, for, I forget. It was like a mine. It was a smallish sort of deal. Kind of went under the radar, especially after the Bauer move. But they did it just before there. That of course still goes to the A's, Jonathan L. There's Shun Yamaguchi. To 99. Gotcha. You guys have the Braves. Nice. There you go. Congrats. Hopefully, and there's still more Braves possible as well. I saw some Austin Riley rookie cards. Some of the other guys, too. There's Shun Yamaguchi for the Blue Jays, Nick Stober. And we got Garrett Cole and Tanaka, one two punch to 99. All right. So now we are getting to the good stuff. Should we do this now? is how do we like new bases loaded I need to go to a my sister lives in Vegas so I got I gotta go and check out some baseball games this summer Super important question about California. How is how is the food? What are you talking about? Well, food's one of the best in the world. California. He sucked. So Nusi sucked. All right. Yeah. Pretty much anywhere in a major metropolitan area in, in in L.A., San Diego, Orange County, Santa Barbara, San Francisco, even up and down the coast, everywhere. It's it's amazing. We got all the we got. Pretty much most of the, all the good fast food joints around here. 
You know, from cheap to expensive, all the food's great. You can find some great hole-in-the-wall Mexican places that'll serve you some amazing food. Great food truck scene if you're into that sort of thing. If you want to go, you know, high-end foods. Great steakhouses, a lot of excellent seafood places here. All different cuisine, cuisines, cultures, and whatnot. Andrew and Simmons. Devin Ethier? I had no idea this guy. That's Andre Ethier's brother. Oh, we don't need what a burger is pretty good, but we got in and out here. We we do a French laundry here, as well. It's pretty expensive though. There is a place that is it. Uh, I think it's in Culver City, Ryan. Is that right? The Brooklyn Bagel Co. or something, Bagel Company or something like that. There's that Garrett Colt for the Pirate Harrison. Jake Marisnik as a Blue Jay. Jackie Bradley Jr. Are they going to trade him? Mike Napoli as Drupal Cabrera. In and out has nothing on Waterbird. What? That's that's crazy talk. Five guys is top? Wow. As I don't even know you. I'm Ryan Harold. Maybe I don't want to hang out with you when you come move out to LA anymore. At least not for burgers. Five Guys is unreal. Wow. No, I I do have to admit that people have people talk about In and Out so much that it does get overrated. I try not to talk about In and Out that much, especially when so, when someone hasn't had it, hasn't had In and Out. I don't talk it up. I'm just like, oh, cool. I guess we'll have, you know, just like we do here on the on the on the stream here. We uh, we under promise, we over deliver. That's what we like to do. There's James Loney, five hundred. Randy saying Shake Shack is the best. I feel like Shake Shack's a little different. No, a different category of burger place. All right, so nothing too crazy there. Uh, let's roll with, I want to save that five star towards the end. Let's do that Bowman Sterling right here, 2020 Bowman Sterling. I don't know, in and out though, like, it's like I, I, see, I see them cut fresh potatoes in the back to make the fries, it's, it's pretty good. Landon says there's a place called Cookout here on the East Coast. Check that out. You've been saying one thing about in out is they they don't. Are you saying inflate their prices? Five Guys is the Kobe Bryant of fast food burgers. I don't think I think Kobe Bryant would say in and out. Yeah. I, okay. I hear what you're saying, Irvin. Yeah. I, th I, 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 I deduced. I deduced. Yeah. I think with, with, especially with the with the quality of the ingredients that that In and Out uses, they could easily say, "Oh, like it's, uh, we'll, we'll have to pay like three more dollars a burger just because 
You know, you're watching us cut up some fresh onions in the back, you know. Yeah, I, I do enjoy the well done fries as well in and out. All right, let's see what we got here. It's a Reese Hines autograph to 150 for the Reds, Chris Parent. Spencer Howard to 75 and Will Wilson. Will Wilson what? What will he do? That goes to William Clayton. William with William. Giants. Got Brandon Marsh to 199 and Andy Pagas for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Kim. Tariq Skubal for TJ and the Tigers. There you go, TJ. Oh, that's Gary Martin saying, "Hope your I hope your wife is listening. My wife makes the my favorite burgers. Points. Good man, Gary. <laughs> Jeremy Pena to 125. Kyle Lewis and Sheldon Nusi. All right, uh, let's do 2017 Bowman Chrome. She is listening, but it's true anyway. Wow, even scoring even more points. It's ex excellent work. Excellent work. Yeah, the, the home cooked home cooked burger. You grill up your own burger. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Oh, Fat Sal's is fantastic, Ryan Harold. I can't go to. I, I'm glad I don't live near a Fat Sal's because then I would be a Fat Sal. was a redemption or a card for a second. We got a pirate. It's Mitch Keller. Nice Mitch Keller for the Buckos. That's going to be Harrison with the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's supposed to be up and coming star, perhaps. Hope they're they're open. All right, middle autograph is Jose Trevino. And it'll be for the Rangers. That's for Kevin. Right now, yeah, I'd balloon up to be Fat Joe, the rapper. I don't want to. I don't want to get to that weight. And we've got an Alberto Tirado for the Phillies. Steve Birch. All right, now I know we're getting to the last two boxes here, and you're thinking, boy, I am having. Some of you maybe think I'm having a terrible break. Why did I spend 200 some odd dollars or buy all those filler spots to get into this break? This is terrible. I'm grumpy now. Wait, wait, wait. Remember, we're still giving this away. So you still have a shot at that. And if you don't, then I mean, then you can be grumpy afterwards, but still got a shot at that. I think there's a graded card in here, right? So should we do this first?
what do we got here? I got a thinner card on the bottom, which means maybe it's one of those cases. I don't know. There's Abraham Toro. That will, that's a rookie auto for the Astros. That's going to be for Brian Frank. And back here, it's going to be, wow, Pentamerous Penmanship, two out of three, Walker Bueller. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Walker, Texas, Bueller. Nice. Dodgers. That'll be for Kim. These guys. These guys who did that who did that thing right there. Alright, the graded card. Bowman X. X. I don't know if it, I don't know if they covered it up. They Graded card is going to be... Oh, Train Whistle is a Tiger. I'm all over the place today. Dodgers, Kim, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Can't believe I forgot that. And Tigers, Matt Manning, PSA 10. 2020 Bowman Chrome X, Matt Manning Prospects card. That's 9 out of 31 for TJ and the Tigers. Gets the graded card at the very end. And we made it, folks. What, an hour and 22, 23 minutes? Not too shabby. We'll do a recap after we give away the Mikhail Jordan. All right, so let's flip back to this screen right here, the list. Let's grab everyone's names from Harrison down to Oliver Smith and everyone in between. Put them all in here. And the name on top after six. Do I have any other randomizers too? No. After six, five and a one, six times, gets the Jordan. One. Two. Good luck. Three. Four. Five. And sixth and final time. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. A lot of sad people here. Sad, 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 sad. And the happiest person is going to be... Levi Johnson, last spot mojo. There you go. He had the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. I don't think there are too many Rays in here, Levi, but there you go, man. After six times, Michael Jordan going your way. Congrats. PSA 10, baseball, Michael Jordan. There you go. And here is a quick recap. There's the Walker Bueller. Almost forgot the train whistle there. Pretty nice hit for Kim. And a pretty solid break overall. Thanks, everyone, for joining us and making it this nice uh, Phil Necro there. Some nice rookie cards. Some Luis Roberts, Austin Riley, Pete Alonzo rookie cards, Junior Fernandez, Todd Is Warrell. Is Jessica not playing on, on TV? What's that? Is Jessica not playing on TV? I suppose she's playing right now, but I'm just wondering that they, the night that That must have been yesterday. This is this is the other semifinal. Are you sure? That's what they said. Because I'm looking right here on Tennis Channel and it says like it's live. Oh, maybe they're not playing that match. Yeah, because right? Am I right or wrong? It says the final final and then it says started. Phillip oh, that, Island oh that's a different thing? Different oh, I tournament. She was yeah, because oh, I, she, I think she got bounced. Oh, she got bounced oh. And there you go. There was the graded card out of Bowman X right there. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was Jaspie's 15 box. Be like Mike. I want to be like Mike. Baseball mixer uh, on a Wednesday, the 17th. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Thanks very much. Jaspie's Bye-bye.